Hi, welcome to another episode of Talking with Docs. I'm Dr. Brad Weening. And I'm Dr. Paul Zalzo. So uh, for this video, we're just going to answer a question that was uh, emailed to us uh, regarding stem cell therapy and PRP. And by the way, thank you for all the questions that you're sending or leaving us comments on the videos. We do our best to address them as fast and efficiently as we can. Yeah, and keep in mind when you send a question, we can't give you specific medical information about your specific case, but uh, if you email as questions or ideas that you think would make for good videos, that's kind of what we're looking for. So this question came in and so asked if we could uh, talk about stem cell therapy and PRP. Injections. Okay, what's PRP, Paul? So PRP stands for platelet-rich plasma. And um, the way it is obtained is a sample, a sample of some blood is taken, it is spun down in a centrifuge, and then the portion of the blood that is rich in platelets is extracted and re-injected into a pathologic uh, tissue or area, like a knee or a tendon. Or ligament. So it could be a joint or a soft tissue. Yeah. So it could be targeting arthritis or some type of inflammatory process. Right. Okay. The problem with it is it's very new. So when you say PRP, there is a bunch of different sort of recipes or uh, concentrations uh, or uh, techniques to get the PRP. So if you can't compare one type of PRP to another, it's very difficult. And certainly within the orthopedic literature, the evidence is growing uh, in support yeah. of this type of uh, treatment, um, but it's not definitive no. by any stroke of I imagination. Would, yeah, it's, and there's not, it's not conclusive yet, but like you said, it is growing evidence that this can, uh, this does have some promise and some potential to treat things like arthritis or chronic uh, rotator cuff tears or chronic uh, ligamentous injuries. Any risk to doing it before the evidence is conclusive, Paul? Um, whenever we do an injection of any kind, there's always a th the risk of infection. So yep. that's the one risk uh, that we have to watch out for. I think it's hard to do damage any other way. And then, of course, the risk to your pocketbook. Yes, financial risk, I think, is very real. Um, there's varying uh, price ranges, and, and it can get expensive, um, particularly with no uh, guarantee of success. Um, and I think the other risk, I guess, for everyone involved is any time you're handling blood products, that carries an inherent risk to probably more the injector than the person receiving the injection. Right, so this will not be our last video on PRP. We're going to keep you updated as the uh, evidence comes along. Stem cell. Stem cell. What's the deal with uh, stem cells? Um, okay, if PRP had a heterogeneity in the way it's collected and applied, stem cell is orders of magnitude more mixed up because there are yes. things are called stem cell therapy, yet they mean very different things. So it's hard to compare apples to apples in this situation. One person might be offering apples, the other could be offering mangoes, pineapples, oranges, who Any knows? Any tropical fruit. Yes, yeah, all the fruits. So what's a stem cell? A stem cell is basically a cell that has the potential to become many different types of tissue. And usually they're getting it from a bone marrow source or potentially from fat, right. probably the most common places. Right. And then when they do obtain these stem cells, do they inject them right back into you or do they take them into the lab for a while and uh, expand the population and then re-inject it? Uh, these are all things you have to look at and, and the costs on these sort of treatments vary markedly as well. And, and probably exponentially compared to PRP as well, so they're much, much more expensive. And, and I think the real hope for these, or where people are really grasping, is people with severe arthritis that, that want to have a cure for their arthritis. And, and as great as that would or will be if it happens, I think we're still far from that at this point. Oh, yeah. So is the evidence for stem cells, is it conclusive? It works for sure? Is that what you're saying? I would say it's definitely inconclusive. Right. Yeah. Stem cell um, has been an area of interest for my research. I've worked with stem cell research for quite a number of years. I haven't used it clinically, but certainly uh, experimentally. I've been Cheap. part of a research group, yeah, where we did uh, some uh, stem cell extraction uh, and then tried to expand the population. I can tell you, with those stem cells, it took a team of scientists, PhD students, postdocs, people way smarter smarter than me, poking, prodding these stem cells and trying to convince them to turn into cartilage, and the kind of cartilage that was produced was not That's as great. good as the cartilage that you have on your joint surfaces. Certainly arthritis is a very challenging problem, and that's why people continue to try to, try to solve it. Yeah, so um, we'll definitely not our last video on stem cells. Nope. We're going to 
keep you updated as uh, evidence does become available. But right now, should I try it? At this point, I'm probably not. I haven't, certainly is not part of my practice, and I'm more in the wait and see mode. Right. So uh, if you're approached and that you have it as a treatment option, you know, ultimately it's up to you. Yep. Uh, there's no evidence yet to say that it works really well, but there's no evidence out there that says that it doesn't work. So if you want to take your chances and give it a go, that's reasonable. Let us know how it goes. It's up to you. And uh, we'll try and keep you updated as the evidence becomes available in this field. And if you have any further questions on different topics, please feel free to email us at info at talkingwithdocs.com. And remember, you are in charge of your own health. And if you found this video helpful, please like it on YouTube or subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.